We've got a big weekend of football ahead on the channel, doing what I love, but first. Hi there, I'll back to you, buddy. Hi there, um, can I have a flat white with two shots of coffee in it, please? Alright, that's one of my dinner Perfect. Um, no, that'll be all, thanks. That's all, yeah. Just get up and run Top, top man. Cheers, mate. Oh, two shotter. It's got to be done. Cheers, man. Thank you. Oh, the nice taste of a Costa in the mornings. I can't be the only one that does this with my mates. Like, if I'm going for a Costa, I'll call it a Diego's. Obviously, Diego Costa. Do that for everything. Any way there's like a link to a footballer's name, we'll do that. Do any of you do that, or am I just the only weird one out there? But no, today we are going to Forfa against Kelty Hearts. It's been so long since I've seen my beloved Kelty play, and I just thought I've got to. I've absolutely got to, and I've been given a great opportunity in Dundee for the Sunday as well. And so I just thought, with Forfa playing Kelty out, obviously Forfa's near Dundee, and uh, with a good opportunity that I have on uh, on Sunday um, to do with a football match in Dundee, I'm sure you can guess already what it is, um, but not quite what the big opportunity is. Um, so make sure you subscribe and stick around and put your notifications on and all that. Yeah, just with all that and uh, with them two being quite close to each other, I've got a hotel booked for tonight, so I'm going on a proper little um, away trip this weekend. Saturday 4 for Kelty and Sunday I've got another match day vlog coming from Dundee. But for now, I've got a long journey ahead of me. Thankfully, I have my double-shotted flat white from Diego's, and we're going to get on the road and go and watch some football. It's rainy, it's cold, it's winter, it's Scotland, it's Saturday, and it's football. Please hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Cheers, guys. Hang on, let me just uh, give the old screen a wash for you guys, give you a bit of a clearer view. I know it kind of seems pretty in that at this time of year, but who else is just like sick and tired of the winter now? Really getting a lot of winter fatigue, not been away for so long. Oh, I cannot wait for winter to go and spring to appear. Surely, surely it won't be long now. to come. Stay in a nice hotel in Dundee. Whoa. Your destination is on the left. Okay, I hear you. Loud and clear. Here we are. Best Western in Dundee. I'm here so early. I called up yesterday to see if they'd let me check in early. I would love to come and just drop off my laptop um, and all that before I have to go to Forfa. Let's run in and check. I called ahead yesterday um, just to check in today, see if I could check in early if possible. I know it's a bit early just now, but I asked for 12 o'clock if that would be possible. It depends what floor they're on and stuff. I mean, I can do your whole check-in process just now, and then I can see where housekeeping's at. Perfect, yeah, yeah, if possible, that'd be great. You're down the corridor, along the stairs, up the stairs, you're on the third line. Amazing, thanks for doing that for me, really appreciate it. See you later. Shout out to the Best Western Woodland for sorting me out early. I did call ahead. We're looking for 135. Yeah, I did call ahead to see if they'd check me in early. Like I said, I've got like my laptop and stuff that I don't want to leave in the car when I'm off to Forfa and then check in later. And that means I can edit the bit of the vlog that you've probably already seen of me driving along. So I've got a bit of time here now. Right, let's see. What, 54 quid gets you in Dundee? Look at this! You got a little skylight here, in the bathroom. This always happens. Every time I stay in a hotel, there's always a vlogger in the mirror that you get for free. Nice little Philips TV. Kevin. Like the Diego Costa game, Kevin Phillips. I'm so weird. Look at that, you get a view. Oh wow, 54 quid. This is a bargain. Guys, look, if you like ground up in, Get around the UK and do some. Right, I need to do some editing, so I'll chat to you when I'm about to leave the hotel. Right, and we've made it to, oh, 
Sam Street. We've made it to Forfa, lovely journey along, and I got a recommendation to come somewhere. I haven't purposely eaten, I purposely haven't eaten up until this point today. I've just had that one Diego from earlier, but I had a recommendation, I think off of Twitter. So here goes. Yeah, somebody actually tweeted me that I have to go to McLaren's Bakers, which is right near the ground. The ground is just down here. But yeah, the four for Bridie. I had one before when I did my, when I was doing like my ground hopping thing, when you couldn't really go to games in that, like no fans were allowed, but like you could just go around the country. Um, and I was like seeing stadiums. I had a, a four for Bridie last time, um, just from a bakery that I kind of found. But look at this, it's like minced meat. My mouth is salivating right now. I can see why I got the recommendation. A little burnt bit there, I'll try and get it in the sun for you guys to see. And then you got the filling. Woo! And I know that people from England, not me, but people from England and other leagues around the world will call Scottish football a farmer's league. And I don't like that saying, but maybe here in Forfa, it's justified. There is the stadium. And here are the beautiful farms of Angus. In all seriousness though, I absolutely love Scottish lower league football. You guys will know that. Oh look, there's the Kelty Hearts fan. The pride of Fife. There's already some Kelty Heartians here. Um, but yeah, today it's uh, second, the home team here. Forfa are second against top Kelty Hearts. So it's a massive game. Um, big ramifications for both clubs. If Forfa can win, they stay in the title race. If Kelty win, they go even further ahead. I can see some people trying to get the pitch ready right now. Of course, as you can see, it's a bit of snow, but the pitch is looking good. I've been checking Twitter all morning. Whilst there's postponements up and down the country, I don't think they will be here. Look, a beautiful day. Just look at some of the scenery around here. People might recognise you, Hello, Robert, man. from the Sterling uh, game the other day. And I'm with Kyle as well. You're also a big Forfa fan, as yeah. I can see from your hat. Um, you were telling me an interesting stat just then about the goals here this season. Yeah. Over two, point, uh, two goals per, uh, every per game. game. So it's going to be no no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's told me there's been goals every single game this year. So we come here today and it'll probably be nil nil. But score prediction? I'm going to go for a two all. But come on there, 4 4! I think it's going to be a tight one up, one no. Good job! Good job! The Kelty Ultras are out in force as per. How's the season been going? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. What are you, nine points clear with two games in hand on four for who are second? Oh, right. Who you're playing today? So win today, and we would you say... We need to win eight more games to win the league. So what do you think the score will be today? One, one. one all, you reckon? A draw, yeah? Two one? We always struggle against one. Two nil. Two nil, the Kelty. Yeah, I guess I'd one all. I'm saying 2 0 4 2 0. 2 0 Kelty. 2 0 Kelty. What did you say? 2 0 4 4. I'm not, I'm not he thinks confident. He's not confident today for some reason. 2 0 Kelty. Nice boys, enjoy. You've got to be aware of these ultras, look at them. A couple of Forfa fans? No, we're actually season to the holders Oh, okay. Kelty Hearts is his second team. Oh, right, so Kelty, right, okay, perfect. To see Kelty Hearts. Oh, amazing. Excited, They're it? a cool club, aren't they? They've had a good season yeah, as well. Season. So, what do you think the score's going to be? 2 1 Kelty. Yourself? Uh, 3 1 Kelty. Prediction, you're Forfa fans, right? Uh, yeah. 2 1 Forfa. Easy peasy. 2 1. 2 0. 1 0. 1 0. All going quite tight, but the season's been quite good. You're second. Are you still confident you can go back up next season?
So score prediction. 5-0 5 0 he's saying. Oh. 1-0. One 2-1. One oh. one oh. There we go. Kicked off. Really strong team out for Kelty today. Joe Carter's on the bench, but we've got Bar Jonas, we've got Kit, uh, Higginbottom, we've got Nathan Austin, and we've got Andy Monroe, who I've uh, seen a couple of times before. Four, four for the centre back. Really, really good defender. Here we go. Obviously, we've just been chatting, haven't we, about how well the season's been going for Kelty. Yeah. Um, I, I will just stress you are a Kelty fan, not four face, he's got a blue scarf on. Um, <laughs> How do you think the season has gone? And oh, it's been, you know what? It's been absolutely fantastic. Yeah. We've been lucky. Yeah. Um, as far as like what we've had, we're moving in the right direction. How good is Kevin Thompson, the manager? It's been magnificent. Yes. Yeah. Compared to a lot of Barry Ferguson, he's night and just day. left Alloa yeah, as well. It's been Crazy, day. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Great. Oh, DJ there. And yeah, so, good. score prediction for today then? <sighs> hey. I'll go for 4 0 Kelly. 4 0 Kelly. Four and yourself? Ah, see, maybe 2 1. 2 1, okay, a bit tighter, a bit tight. He's, he's, he's an optimist. He's bottled <laughs> that. 2 1, that, nah, seems like. Because I told him the table clash, so you can't have it. That's what I love about Scottish football, like they're here in the banter and they're like laughing about it as well, you know? I know, yeah. Of course, yeah. So it's half time here, isn't it? Nil nil. You still expecting goals in the second half? Yeah. You're just showing me. This is you here, right? Yeah, that's With Kelty's first two trophies in what year was this? 1980-81 season. Nil nil so far? Yeah. What's it gonna be at full time? 2-0. I think she's going to be 1-0 for Still think 1-0. on the drums and Kelty score, could you imagine? Oh, okay. <laughs> Mate, you've got a career in vlogging, thank you so much. The cameraman. Four one five nil. it's half time, it was nil nil at half time. So eight nil. Eight nil. That's ambitious, but I like it. What about a hundred nil? I'm not sure that will happen, maybe, maybe. Here we go. Bigger than the Kelty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
loves it. He was on my Sterling video. Yes. 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 <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> he loved it. No, he's a legend, weren't he? He's Forfa's most famous fan. Yeah. Yeah. And you boys now as well. Yeah. What's the score going to be? 30 no! 30 no! There's not long enough for that to happen, surely. <laughs> what are you going to do? We're going to score that 1 now! 1 nil. 2 yeah. 1! Simon from Bondi Pool in South Wales. Perfect, perfect. Lovely to meet you, mate. What a journey. Oh, what a save. Oh, your keeper. What a game he's had. Come on, He said 1-0, yeah, yeah, another yeah, football yeah. genius. Yeah. Football genius, what a guy. As you can see, back in the hotel now, there's the GoPro, seen a lot of action. That GoPro down the years, and I mean football action, and there is my Iron Brew Energy. Is it weird that I've had one of them this evening? A massive thank you to all the Forfa fans uh, for their reception that they gave me today. I absolutely loved uh, Station Park. What a great stadium. And a massive thanks to all the Kelty fans as well. Great to see so many regular faces there. Um, Forfa really deserve the points in the end. Look at them. What a celebration that was, by the, by the way. Yeah, they really do deserve the three points. Um, Kelty didn't do enough on the pitch today. And it just about keeps Forfa in the running for the title race and for a promotion push. I will leave some videos on screen. Please do click on one to carry on watching. Please hit that like button as well. It really, really does help. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one.